In the last session, we looked into how to propose hypothesis for this particular model. When proposing hypothesis or while you are reading papers, you might come across a few terms like directional hypothesis or non-directional hypothesis. Now, what do we mean by directional hypothesis and non-directional hypothesis? Now, if you look here, there is the word positive with impact and we have also mentioned significant. So there is a significantly positive impact. Now this is a directional hypothesis. This means that if you increase on a servant leadership, your green identity will increase. Now what if this word isn't or wasn't here? Let's say, let's remove it. Now there is a significant impact of servant leadership on green identity. Now we do not know whether the relationship of this variable here with this variable here is positive or negative. Now if you've got directional hypothesis later when we are discussing analysis, so for directional hypothesis you will run one tailed test. And this is what we do for example if you are using smart PLS. For non-directional hypothesis, you will have two-tailed test because you do not know the direction of relationship. In this case, we know the direction of relationship. So we have mentioned positive in this case. So this was all about these two terms, directional and non-directional hypothesis that you will commonly come across. Now with regards to the hypothesis formulation or when you are drafting your hypothesis, there are a few things that one should be considerate of. The first thing is that when you are drafting your hypothesis, make sure you use the word significant because this is what you are interested in, whether or not the relationship between these two variables is significant or not. I do prefer the directional hypothesis in comparison to non-directional hypothesis. Now there are two other words that you might come across and we did slightly discuss them in the previous sessions although I think I just mentioned them. Relational hypothesis and differential hypothesis. Now what is relational hypothesis? Here it is. This is your relational hypothesis whereby you are looking to assess the impact of one variable on the other. You are assessing whether a change in this variable leads to a change in this variable or not. Whereby you are assessing the relationship between one variable with the other variable. Here it is. Look at the word impact. Significantly positive impact. That This means that you are assessing whether higher servant leadership in an organization leads to increased green empowerment. So this is your relational hypothesis. So what is differential hypothesis when you are assessing the differences in a variable? What do we mean by differences? Now these differences are assessed between or across groups. Let's say group one, group two, group three. So let's say I am assessing whether environmental behavior differs between male and females. Now this is a differential hypothesis if I propose it in the form of this text. How to do this? I will look into it. Now it could be three groups. Let's say environmental behavior in different job ranks. Let's say junior, middle and senior level employees. Now how do we write such hypothesis? Let's have a look. Let's say I want to write it. There is a significant difference in environmental behavior between between male and female employees. Now there is no direction in this hypothesis. You do not know whether male have higher environmental behavior or female have higher environmental behavior. What if I want to turn this hypothesis here into a directional one? So what I'll do is I'll write, let's say male have a higher 
pro environmental behavior in comparison to females now here what i'm doing is i'm saying that males have a higher pro environmental behavior in comparison to females now there is a direction in my hypothesis so if you've got differential hypothesis and you want to make it directional this is how you can do it so this was all about directional non-directional and relational and differential hypothesis thank you very much